Hey, it's Zach the Crochet Kid here, and today I'm starting my YouTube channel. Before I get into what I'm going to be doing on this channel, I'm going to give you a little history of what I have done to get to where I am with crochet. So, when I was about six years old, my grandmother had been crocheting for a while. I was amazed at what she was doing, so I finally asked her, pretty much with my six-year-old self, how do you do that? And she showed me a simple little way I could start. And I just take a slip knot and I could just finger chain all I want. And it's just pulling the yarn straight through the loop. It makes this kind of sloppy looking chain, but I just loved it. And I do it all the time until I got these really long strands. And apparently, after a while, I just made spider webs all over her house. I found that out a few years ago and I thought that was just hilarious. So after I did that, I was introduced to the crochet hook. And the crochet hook helped me realize that I could do this a lot faster and do a lot more with it. So the first little pattern I was taught was a little bookworm. And this bookworm I could chain and then at the end I could make this little spiral looking design that served as your bookmark along with a tassel on the other end so you put it in your book and it would stick out at both ends to show you where you're at. So after I did that I started doing some one dimensional sort of patterns like washcloths, maybe a blanket or so to get the basic stitches down. So I enjoyed that and then about two or three years later when I was eight to ten I was introduced to animal making and it's called amigurami, but I usually just call it animals because people get confused when I say amigurami. Because all it is is crocheting animals. And I remember that from amigurami, which I used to love, or origami, between those two. Origami being folding paper and amigurami making animals out of crochet. So I enjoyed this for a while, and I did more advanced things than this little monkey. This was like one of my first projects. And then, as I learned the abbreviations and how those worked, I got more patterns and got a little bit better at them. So this is a, another one from the same d area of design from the monkey. And it's just a little frog. And you can see it's a lot more uniform than the monkey with the double looped stitches. So, after I did that for a while, I learned how to make my own patterns. And this was kind of my first one because I had a Yoda pattern, and I really liked Star Wars, and I thought it'd be fun to try writing my own pattern. So, I started out and I made this pattern, and I could probably do a little bit better job with the stitches, but this was a really good starting point for me. This is actually like the first one I tried to build or crochet. So after that I started making other ones like this little airplane and after a while I figured maybe it would be fun to make these small little golf ball sized kind of patterns that would appeal to little kids. So I wanted to make these small golf ball sized ones and these I think were the starting point for it. And then I would made like a cow and octopi, octopi corrected myself. So those were really fun for me to be able to realize I could make my own patterns and not just have to look them up. So after a while, I realized that I was building up quite the stock of supplies for myself and that I kind of like to show it off to people. And I've seen crafts fair like all over and I was like, maybe I could sign up for one of those. So I signed up for a crafts fair and it was amazing to see how people liked my stuff and kind of made me keep on doing it so I kept going and I found more patterns so this is a Snoopy that I found and then I made this doghouse to go with them but you can't really have Snoopy without Woodstock so one day similar to writing patterns I looked at just a simple stuffed animal this little stuffed animal Woodstock and turned it into this crocheted one so I just looked at it and I could picture it in my mind because I just love it so much because I can easily see it with my mind that I can do certain patterns of stitches to get a certain shape. And that's a thing I want to teach in my channel is just showing you the basics and as well as just how to do it. 
and I try to appeal to everyone that I can and I made this from a video game called Minecraft and it's just a little block head and it's just fun to see how people react to my different builds and different projects that I make so this is the book that I write down all these patterns in and I'm hopefully gonna type these up and put these on Etsy um, at some point and I'll announce that on my YouTube channel when I get that done so during this um, channel I'd like to teach like beginners to expert level tutorials and I'll probably start in about a day or two on beginners and what you need and what is the good basic stitches and stuff to start out with so I'm hoping to see y'all in the next video subscribe like comment uh, leave suggestions it's really all the subscribers and people who comment that leave it up to the channel it's just it's nothing without the comments because if I'm sitting here talking and I don't get any reply to it it's almost like I'm just sitting here talking to myself so it's always good to hear from all the subscribers so see you all in the next video